the hood. How's it going folks? Craig Udelman here. Welcome back to Old Time Central. We're going to teach you another old time fiddle tune. This time it's one from Georgia called Bangin' on the Hood. Uh, for those of you uh, Europeans or uh, non-Americans out there, who knows what that means, but uh, it could be a hood, you know, well there's a hood of a car, the front of the car, so Bangin' on the Hood. Uh, we'll let you figure out what it means, but that's what it is. Uh, I get it from the playing of the Georgia Mudcats, who recorded it, I think, in 2007 on a great CD, Barefoot in the Hen House, I believe, uh, which has a lot of great Georgia tunes on there. I wish I could tell you where they got it from, but right now I can't. Uh, so there's some good sleuthing for you to do on this one. But it's a fun tune. It's not too complicated. It's in the key of C, and it has some A minor, so you can play this one for all your friends who say there's no minor chords in old time and see what they think. Uh, or you can try and play an A major chord over the minor section. We'll leave that up to you. Uh, but here is a bit of the tune. We'll play it not too fast. We'll show you how it goes bit by bit and then play it faster again at the end. So here it goes. Key C, folks. <laughs> like this.
separate, separate slur. And I do the chord, the drum, the E string. I notice there again these circle bowings, right? Okay, second phrase. So it's similar, but more moving notes and no slur. So there's a little downward slide. Nice Georgia thing there. So. And I think that's how I bow that. So you gotta separate here to get back ending on an up bow. So the first, from the beginning. A little slower. So there's already two options, slur, and then you do the separate, or do an up bow there, and then slur bow. Leave that up to you. Uh, then uh, the second half of the first section, and this could be a different note, it could be a first finger, but. So two, and that's all separate. Let me play that from the beginning and make sure. Yes, that's what I do. You could also throw that. Uh, but the big part is here. So it's. I'm keeping my third finger down the whole time and going. So separate bows, slur, and I just keep that slur going. And that's generally what I do there is it's like, uh, so that one's a clean slur across the string. And then on the end there, I'm getting the chord, and then I'm lifting off just on the D string again. So you get that. You kind of hear this, but it's also sort of just like a bit of an articulation of it. And here I might play or that's what I'm likely to do uh, let's do that we'll leave off the fourth finger so uh, let's go from the beginning Usually slur that. Yes, slur, separate, slur, separate. But also could be all separate till the end. You 
can do a lot of different bowings there if you want to. And that last thing, we get quite a few of these these little rocks in the, in this tune, which I think we've probably done before, but if not, it's so down, up, up. You can do it on one string also. The key is sort of it's this feeling of da ba dum da ba yeah, and then basically after you turn the direction of the bow, you really give the accent in your wrist. It's just that little thing there. Cool. So that's the whole A section. Let's play it nice and slow. first one we did is probably a great place to start. Right, okay. So uh, that's half the tune. Let's, let's learn the second part. Uh. with a lot of double stopping you can also just it really you don't have to do that if you have trouble getting your first finger on both strings but if you can it's nice you can play all that on both strings or just or mostly play the melody on the bottom string and keep that finger on the top string for the draw and that might be easier or better but lots of options uh, I'll do it for now without the, the drone so you can really hear what's happening let's call it that I think they kind of play I like this. Just sort of walking down. Those in between notes, I think, are a bit up to you. Um, let's go from the beginning there. Or. So there, yeah, I, I like this. It's another one of these rocking da dum, but if you have trouble with that or don't like it, just use the second finger to get the same effect. Keep that first finger down here, I suppose. I'd probably am droning the D string if I drone anything there. Which I think makes sense because you might play a G chord here. I have a lot of different ideas of what that note is. So I'm playing an F sharp and then an F kind of half sharp. A little microtonal old time music for you there. Right 
That would be an F natural. F sharp. Somewhere in between. And that can either be or your boy works out you'll either up with one last rock or doing the same thing with a separate bow that's usually how I go so the whole last uh, the whole B section nice and slow the tune for you now uh, kind of medium tempo and uh, away you go there's not not too many variations you really need with this one so we'll let you just have fun with it yourself enjoy here it goes banging on the hood <laughs> time.